All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to restore the stock ROM on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. Now, um, as you can see here, I am currently running CyanogenMod 11, which is um, uh, KitKat. And uh, as you can see, it is working um, perfectly fine. Now, this method will work no matter which version of CyanogenMod you're running. Um, and even if you're not running an OS at all and your device is bricked, um, this method should also work as well. So um, all you need uh, to get started are three items on your computer. Well, four if you uh, haven't flashed anything on here before. But um, you're going to need the stock ROM, which you can actually download here. Now, one thing to note about this site is um, it gives you all the stock ROMs for any version of the Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. And um, one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is um, the device. Um, you're going to need to know whether or not you have an international or Korean device uh, or a USA device. And the way you can tell that is by looking at the buttons on the bottom. Uh, US devices will look like mine does and have a capacitive home button between the back and menu keys. Whereas the international or Korean versions will have a physical uh, rectangular button uh, as the home button instead of a capacitive button. So um, depending on which device you're ha you have, uh, you're going to need to download the respective stock ROM. And when you download these ROMs, they should um, download or at least be extracted into a .tar.md5 file. As you can see, um, I've already downloaded a copy there and um, we are going to go ahead and flash that to the device. So, to prepare your device for flashing, what you're going to need to do is, um, first off, shut the device down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And once it's shut down, you're going to need to turn it on while holding the power button and the volume down key. And that will put it in download mode. So, um, let me go ahead and do that right now, and I'll show you what that screen looks like. Alright, so when you're in download mode, you'll see this screen right here. Now also, if your device is bricked and on the uh, connect to computer screen, and uh, the system won't boot, that also means it's in download mode. So if your device uh, has that screen on it, uh, that means that it is indeed in download mode. So um, once your device is in download mode, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and connect it to your computer like so. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Alright, so you can hear my computer recognized it. And also before you do this, you're going to want to make sure you have the Samsung mobile device USB driver installed. Um, I will put a link to everything you need, including that, uh, in the description of this video. So once you've gotten that installed, um, or your device connected, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Odin. So here it is right here. So if your device is successfully connected, you should see it listed here in the, um, it should have a yellow highlight around it and give you a COM port number. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is select PDA over here and navigate to your tar.md5 file. As you can see, mine is right there, and I'm going to go ahead and select Open. Now, um, if this for some reason fails, you're going to need to repartition the device more than likely. So if you indeed do that, you're going to want to download the PIT file that's respected for your device. Um, these are also listed on this site. You can see them down here for the uh, international, US, and Korean devices. You're going to want to download the PIT file um, that's uh, for your dev specific device. You're going to need to select Repartition right here and select the PIT file uh, right there. But in normal circumstances, you should not need to do that, so I am not going to do so in this flash. So once you've gotten the uh, stock ROM tar.md5 file selected with the PDA option, you can go ahead and select Start. And if the flashing is, is uh, working, 
you should see uh, an icon or something appear in this box. For example, factory FS. Um, that is, uh, and this will change depending on what component it's currently flashing to the device. But um, if the green bar is going along, uh, that means it is indeed working. So once that finishes, I'm going to go ahead and resume the video and show you what to do next. Alright, so as you can see, the flashing is nearly completed right now. And um, when it finishes, the device will automatically reboot. However, you don't want to let it fully reboot yet. And when it finishes, I'll show you what to do. Alright, so once the device is reset, you're going to want to hold down the power and volume up keys. And when you see the Samsung logo, you can release them. So as you can see, uh, all this red text came up. Um, that means that the uh, uh, you can unplug it from your computer too, by the way, at this point. Um, but this red text all means that the uh, um, the uh, data and cache partition are not formatted correctly for this version of Android. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is scroll down using the volume keys to where it says wipe data slash factory reset and select the home key. Then scroll down to yes and select the home key once again. It will format your device and now you're going to want to go ahead and select reboot system now. So at this point your device should successfully reboot into the stock ROM. So let's just go ahead and see if the Samsung animation and sound appears on the device. Which should happen relatively soon. It may take quite some time on the first boot, I can't exactly remember, it's been a while since I flashed the stock ROM. But um, what I'll go ahead and do is just uh, resume the video once the device has fully booted and I'll show you that it is indeed uh, running the stock ROM. Alright, so now that my device has rebooted, you can see that it is indeed running the stock ROM. So let me just go ahead into settings, uh, about device, and uh, show you what it's running. So since this is the US version, uh, the maximum firmware version is 2.3.5. Um, I believe the Korean and international versions support up to 2.3.6 stock ROMs. So um, yeah, that is uh, this is the latest stock ROM for this device. So that is how to successfully flash the stock ROM back on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this video.